I see a lot of negativity, a lot of bullshit. I see a lot of people that are complaining. I see a lot of people that, that uh, criticize, but they ain't doing shit. They're not doing anything to better their lives, nothing. Because they don't understand this very basic principle that you, my friend, you are in charge of your life. You are in charge of the decisions that you make. You're in charge of the outcome of your life. You alone, you cannot blame any other one. You can't blame any other person because when you're on your deathbed, you can't blame fucking Susie. You can't blame fucking Johnny, right? You are to blame. You are to blame for the outcome of your life, right? And I said it once and I'll say it again, that everyone is self-made, but only the rich will admit it. Everyone is self-made, but only the rich will admit it. So now what I've done is I've given power back to you. Boom. There you go. Power. I've given you the ultimate freedom to decide the future of your life. That for every action, there's an equal action and opposite reaction that what you sow, you will reap in direct proportion to that what you sowed. You don't plant fucking corn, right? Or you don't plant a watermelon seed and a fucking banana tree or a banana whatever sprouts up. It doesn't work that way, right? You plant apple seeds, you're not gonna get an orange tree. You'll get in direct proportion that what you plant. It's very simple. And if it happens in the natural world and we're part of the natural world, then you need to understand that this principle stands true. And people, right, the system, wants you to believe that you are not in control, that you cannot dictate the circumstances of your life, but you actually can. You can actually dictate the circumstances of your life. So now the question is, what do I want to reap, right? What do I want? That is the goal. You need to answer that. And that answer isn't gonna come easy. You gotta sit down and actually ask yourself, what do I want? Okay, now what are you willing to do in order to get that? What are you willing to sow in order to get that return? Do you understand that there's books by billionaires that give you literally all the secrets, that give you all the sauce, how to build companies, how to manage and all this shit? You gotta learn it, right? You have to learn it. But unless you're willing to learn it, you're not going to win. You're not going to win. Guys, I am teaching you how to get rich here. Like, I'm teaching you how to get rich here. Do you understand? So, if you work a job, okay? If you work a job, if you're in school, if you're in high school, if you're in middle school, I don't know who's listening to this. If you're a stay-at-home parent, if you're a mom, you got three kids, perfect. Figure out the time that you have in order to accomplish that goal and make sure that in that time that you have, and everybody has time. I tell people, people are like, there's not, bro, I don't have enough time. What do you mean you don't have enough time? Yeah, the day's not long enough. I mean, bro, you got the same 24 hours I do. Yeah, but I got responsibilities and I got this and I got that. Bro, everything in your life that you've assumed a responsibility for is self-imposed. Let me, let me say that once again. You are not forced to do shit. Okay, now you got kids. Perfect. That was your choice. You got to deal with it. You got a job. You, you don't have time to do what you want to do. Fucking quit that job or quit complaining. Oh, well, I'm too tired, bitch. You don't care about your goal. Because if you cared about your goal, you would do anything in order to accomplish it. So now that you have a goal, you have a destination, you know where you want to go, you have the starting point. So what you need to figure out, not what I need to do in the end goal, but what is the first step? What is the first step? That's all you need to know. So. You're not only in control, now you know how to measure your money. You're not gonna spend your time, right? Your time, you're not gonna spend your time doing things that are not gonna yield the necessary ROI for your goal. And your goal doesn't just have to be money, it can be anything. If you want to be the best swimmer in the world, well, now you know that your time needs to be spent in the pool. You can't be out here hoeing around and partying if you wanna be wearing the fucking gold medal at the end of the next Olympic for, for swimming the 100 meters, right? You have to get in the fucking pool. A lot of you guys don't wanna get in the fucking pool, bro. You don't wanna win. 
But every other person that you see winning around you, you assume that they have the same work ethic that you do, that they have the same skill set that you do, that they have the same network that you do. That's why you don't believe that it's possible. That's why a lot of you guys, many of you guys sit down looking at Luke and he's like, bro, this kid can't be a millionaire at 26. Like, what the fuck? Like, this is impossible. What? Like, it's impossible that he did that. Why? Because you are comparing myself based on your limitations. And let me tell you something, motherfucker. I ain't got no limitations. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Why? Because I told myself so. And I told myself that whatever my goal was, nothing would stop me in order to accomplish it. And most of the time, the world is not stopping you. You are stopping yourself. You just look at the one or two nuances of things that are happening around you and you're blaming it on that. Oh, well, you know, you know, nicotine is addicting. No, you just have the inability to put it down because you know it's affecting. Oh yeah, but it's hard, you know, like I love girls too much. You love girls more than you love your goal. Therefore, that's what you're doing. And I said it before and I'll say it again. The life that you have is the life that you chose. Whether you admit it or not, the life that you have is the life that you chose. The reason you are where you are today is because of the decisions that you made. So if you want a different life, you have to be willing to make different decisions. You have to be willing to compromise temporary gain for the accomplishment and fulfillment of your goal. That is the name of the game. Without sacrifice, there is no reward. And that is the beauty. All the things that you have to put to bed, all the things that you have to kill in order to resurrect that which you truly want. You need to be willing to sacrifice the temporary for the future. Most of you are not willing to sacrifice who you are today for who you will become. You want to, you want, you want to blame everything around you. The, the circumstances, the bullshit, the inflation, that your parents did this, that the school system that, your age. But you don't sit down and fucking figure it out. You don't wanna sit down there and look at yourself in the mirror and be like, okay, what do I have to do? What, like actually think, what do I have to do to make my goal work? And then you'll realize, oh shit, like, okay, if I wanna go, if I wanna get fit, all I have to do is eat healthy and go to the gym for a prolonged period of time because the blueprint is there. I just have to do that consistently because I understand that consistency compounds. And if I do it long enough, I will accomplish my goal. It is inevitable. It is inevitable. So most people do not want to assume responsibility because I'm a G, I'm circling it back all the way to the beginning because winners win and losers lose. If your life is a life of failure is because you are a failure. Do you understand? The reason you're poor isn't because you're poor. The reason you're poor is because you are a failure.